All right, this is just some podcast that we're doing. Just uh, forgive us if we stutter. I'm forgive me if I stutter. I should say just uh, I'm just very nervous. Just ditto. Just uh, we're we're just you know little uh, noobs at podcasting. There we go. We can't do shit. I wouldn't say that, but we're trying because we're trying. Yes, <laughs> but. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, no, here, they, we go again. It, here we go. Here we, it, it's starting. It's, see right there. It's starting. We're gonna talk over each other, and then we're gonna start apologizing. But this is our um, starting up podcast. It's just gonna be a little test podcast. We're just gonna do a few, like an hour or so, of just chatting and just see, uh, see where our podcast goes from there. Hey, it could be a complete and total train wreck or gold, and we'll just uh, everyone will love us. Yeah, that's the goal. You will all love us. Yes. Don't worry about it. Well, this is, I'm the Savior 85, but you can call me Kevin. I am Gen Theonic. Let's, let's just go with that. Yeah. And for, I mean, we haven't even discussed the title for the podcast. I think for the general podcast, we'll talk about, say, just video games, anime, and uh, general like, pop culture stuff or whatever's in the media. Not not media, but whatever. But for the most part, we'll do whatever comes to mind, whatever we feel like talking about. Yes, and or whatever interesting thing that's happening in the apocalypse. I wouldn't call it apocalypse, but, you know, it's pretty darn close. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's a lot of crazy people out there. Who needs zombies when you have humans? That's what The Walking Dead told us. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people don't like that. They didn't, I mean, they, they just didn't like the whole... They prefer seeing the zombie fighting, not the... Person. Human person fighting in some cases. Anyway, we're gonna ramble. I'm gonna ramble a lot too, just because that's my nature. Sorry about that. Man, but uh, I guess the first thing we should talk about is just what we're gonna name this. A horrible train accident. <laughs> horrible. Nah. No. Nah. No. Like. Hmm. Uh, and Fraga, if you're looking at the original intermission screen, that's just the uh, thing I'm about. I put in the background for this. It's usually just for my stream, but. Since we don't have a title card or anything like that, we'll just stick with that for now. It's so mesmerizing to see SpongeBob just enjoying himself on a roller coaster, and then Patrick is just like angry for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what episode this is, but I'm kind of curious. I think it's season one. Like, I, I remember it's like that Valentine's Day one. What? Okay. The because like they oh best friend day or something like that, and like SpongeBob. What is it? He gets Sandy to bring like this big float for, made of chocolate, uh-huh. and then she gets she has trouble getting there, so he tries to distract Patrick. So he's like, "Your Valentine best friend gift is a handshake." Oh, and then he does this. Uh, oh shit! No, oh, okay. Well, on that note, that little dinosaur on the top left—that's so adorable, and I kind of want a tattoo of that on my hand. But I will most likely never do that. Because that will probably not ever give me respect at work. <laughs> but it's so fucking adorable. I mean, to be fair, that's probably just marker. You can just, like, wash that off. You know, touche. Or fair enough. Uh, man, so many people are buying guns now. Or, uh, from what I um, hear at work, um, some of my coworkers are, like, buying guns and, like, preparation for like when things get like a little crazy shit like, hit the fan yeah when shit hits the fan and i'm just this um, is gonna be lighthearted already and i and i see what a way to start <laughs> right and i see um and i'm just like thinking to myself why <laughs> the, the riots have calmed down unless you're in downtown san jose that that's um that's a thing i uh, mean the, the, i drove past downtown because fyi we're in san jose and you know it's california and uh um, it's hot as fuck well, there's that. <laughs> but, uh, for one, first of all, I'm going to ask, it's kind of difficult to get a gun in this area, isn't it? Um, <laughs> unless... Give me my voice cracks. It's okay. I have to just wait for me. It'll be, like, super high pitch. Just one moment, I'll be talking, and another... <laughs> um, but, um, it is, but you need, um, but you'll need, like, a, um, one of those... Uh, but your gun... It's easier... What the heck? It's easier to get, like, a shotgun than a pistol, um, <laughs> because, like, with pistols, um, because of, um, how strict Californian, um, 
California like gun laws are. The strictest in the country, I believe. Yeah. Some of the strictest. So is. your gun, so you can only pretty much buy a gun if it has like a locking mechanism on it, mm-hmm. and you can only carry it if it has like a locking mechanism as well. Mm-hmm. And like, it kind of sucks because if you need to pull that thing out in like self defense, like you need to first get your key or get the thumbprints and then put your thumb up against like the locking thing, and then you'll be able to do the thing or cock it turn off the safety, then be able to do the thing. Which is, you know, precious seconds that you may or may not actually have. So a lot of um, people are kind of getting, like, um, kind of shotguns, like a Benelli or um, maybe, like, a pump-action thing because, mm-hmm. like, um, the, they some of them aren't actually built with um, a locking mechanism on them. Uh-huh. Um, so, um, majority of people are pretty much just getting shotguns. <laughs> also, you know, bigger explosion and less chance of missing. Um, yeah. uh, no, actually, no, that's a complete lie because they'll usually bunch up and, yeah, you could still miss. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, it's not, well, uh, yeah. but another thing is, like, I mean, I drove past downtown a couple times. It's, I didn't see much of anything down there, but, uh. You sure there's still protests out around our area? I know there'll be protests in some other areas. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I haven't seen anything, like, too big go down. Maybe, like, a couple sign waivers here and there, but mm-hmm. I didn't see much of anything. Huh. Well. Uh, Maybe we should move on to lighter topics. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Protesting the riots? Oh, boy. Almost losing your job because people want to break into your store? Woo. Okay. Okay, so... Well, clarification, you work you work at a Target doing... I work at Target. Okay. Target, and I used to be a cart... Uh, um, cart slave. Yeah, but you, cart attendant. Maybe we, we, they shouldn't hear that. What? I mean, have you... We're basically, like, really hard worker people that, like, work outside in the pretty heat, and we're pretty much the main force that's, like, meets and greets the guests. Uh-huh. But I'm no longer that anymore. I am now, um, um, I work in, like, the back, and I, um, uh, uh, do heavy lifting, more or less. You want to load the trucks, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how we met, because I started out as a car attendant, too, but I moved on to, uh, other jobs. Yeah, which was probably a g- good idea, because, uh, my poor car attendants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. As much as I and as much as I respect that, I, I kind of wish I. So part of me wishes I at least got a job that was what I'm doing now, sort of considering COVID and you know everything's closed down. I work at a garage, just taking tickets and sitting on my butt. Which so it's not a bad, I, which is not a bad gig. Like no, no, it's a great gig. It's just that I wish I had a more physical job, so I don't put on as much weight as I have. <laughs> eh, yeah. <clears throat> At least with car attendants who walk around yeah, at least and push they, stuff. Yeah, at least they walk around and push stuff. And if you're um, really crazy as a car attendant um, and, you ha- and you're and you kind of competitive, you can um, compete with your fellow car, car attendants. I'm so tempted. Or, I'm, ugh. it's, eh. it, I say, um, or I love saying, like, car slave way too often. So, pardon me if I had to, like, correct myself. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um but it's fun to um, compete with other car attendants that are like as strong as you or as competitive as you, because then you can, um, when you have time, you can um, uh, race to see like how many carts you get or like how fast you can fill up the store with however many carts you can get. Um, and like a lot of people say, oh, it's so easy because you use um, the cart machine. Well, the fun part about the cart machine is um, uh, it's kind of slow and inconvenient. And get, um, and the guests really love to um, run into it or back up into it be- for some reason, and then they get really mad at you because <laughs> they are blind or they're impatient. It's okay. Um, but uh, what I used to do was um, whenever our store got pretty busy um, in the summer, I would just straight up hand push because it was it was more efficient. And it was fast. Uh, and it was faster. I'll, I'll admit this right now. I hated the cart machine because I used to work at a Safeway prior to working at a Target doing the same thing. We didn't have a cart machine, and it was much easier just to push six carts at a time, bring them up, go back, bring them up, go back. And the cart machine, as 
efficient as it was in and of itself, it, 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 I just didn't feel comfortable just having 20 cars at once being all in a train, maybe getting, maybe hitting somebody. Choo choo. Yeah. Um. I just never got used to it. I just much prefer hand pushing. Hey, at Costco, did you guys have the metal carts? Yeah. Oh, man, that must have been very fun to, like, kind of push, like, six carts up a hill. Oh, well. Or were they, like, very thin kind of metal carts? It's relatively thin. I didn't work at a Costco, though. But, uh, oh. I mean, I applied to a couple, but I haven't. But I, I, I've i seen what they do over there. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty much the same thing, only without the cart machine. It's just, yeah. and it's thin metal. It's not, it's not any heavier than the ones at Target or Safeway. Yeah, um... Oh man, uh, that's one thing I do miss about car tending. Um, or a lot of my coworkers asked me like what I miss of car tending, and I had to say it was hand pushing carts because like um, I don't know, you just feel so strong when you can just um, push twenty carts um, up a hill with only one arm. Uh, that I don't know, that was pretty fun. <laughs> uh, also against safety regulations. Yep, uh, very much against safety regulations. But hey. If it, um, they don't really care unless you actually, um... Hit somebody. No, um, they don't care as long as you, um, as long as you know what you're doing and you can, and you can do it, um, fast enough so that you can, or as long, they don't care as long as, um, you know what you're doing and you'll be able to fill up the, um, the, your cart rows, like, fast so that you can work and move on to, um... A different task like cleaning the bathroom we used to <clears throat> at target we used to have a janitor lady but um because of um because of some policies um uh she ended up having she ended up um accidentally hurting her back so oh. um so uh we no longer had like a janitor lady that would come in like in the afternoons to kind of help take out the trash so um, that kind of added way more workload onto the car tenants and way more like expectations that some of them just could not um, keep up with. Yeah, keep up with or handle. To be fair, to be fair, like at, at my Safeway, we we didn't have that generally. We ha- as a uh, we call them clerk ambassadors. I think. Oh, Safeway! I'm stupid. Why did I say Costco? It, it's Safeway, but you know we. From the get-go, you did the bathrooms, you did the garbage, you did pretty much a lot of things. So, yeah. So I got used to that pretty quick. <laughs> um, well, that was a fun job. Um, uh, I don't know what... Uh, it's a part of the awkward silence. Okay, well, no. Uh, <laughs> well, I did come up with a new... Well, they come up with a title for the podcast. Hey, cool, let's uh, hear it. Constant Apologies Podcast. Constant Apologies. Love it. <laughs> it seems about right. We're two dudes who would love to say sorry too much. Well. <laughs> or I say sorry too much. Sorry. I say it way more than you do, <laughs> I think. Let, let's put that to a test. Hey, people in the comics, comment, comments who are listening to this, just count up, count up the tally of um, how many, like, um, Savior... Uh, says as sorries and how much I say as apologies. By the way, I'm sorry. So, you know, <laughs> it's better than having that one podcast that, that didn't take off that I remember watching where they had a fuck counter. Oh, oh. Should, are you, do you want to swear on this? or? Uh, uh, um, um, we could keep it to a minimum. That's fair. I Because there's no reason to just like cuss every second. I... <laughs> That guy cussed every second, but you know, I every now and again I'll every now and again the f bomb drops. So yeah, yeah, you know, but it's more effective to use it as like emphasis. Hey, so video games, Dark Souls, fun, <laughs> Code Vein, fun, but I don't want to rest. But I don't want to start a new game. I like feeling over. I love. Um, I love. I very much like Dark Souls 2 because um, you can continue leveling up, and if in it feels like a fun little power fantasy. That's I guess that's um, that's one thing I really like about Dark Souls 2 is like it's a power fantasy kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Dark Souls is fun as well, and it's also like you feel powerful when you have spells and um, upgrade like certain weapons. 
Um, Dark Souls 3, um, to me, I kind of didn't really like it. Um, I struggled with it a little bit, too. Yeah, um, I just kind of didn't like it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's just, you know, a bit of a struggle. So, uh, the enemies are very tough in it compared to other games, so it's hard. Yeah. My, like, some of the enemies are just tough to grind, so it's hard to just farm souls when you need to. Yeah, it's kind of hard uh, for replay value as well, because um, um, because you can't, like, um, create a new character and then kind of, like, immediately go to, like, um, a certain weapon. You have to, like, progress through the entire game just to get, like, a specific weapon, so then you can, like, make your build. I guess, I don't know, I like... Um, I like the early game diversity and, like, um, um, getting a weapon, like, early on and then just kind of, um, building your run around that. I find that kind of fun. Um, but Code Vein, um, I, I like that game. Um, I use a, um, uh, the Zwei Hander and then some of the blood codes that, like, use magic. I am a magic nerd. Mm -hmm. Um. Or I love using magic in games. Got um, and um, yeah, uh, Io or Eo, uh, she's very cute. <laughs> um, and uh, it, and the uh, true good ending. Um, uh, hey, have you played Code Vein? No, I have not. I uh, I have seen streams of it. Cool. So I'm spoiling the shit out of this. It's, I don't care. I've seen pretty much like ninety percent of it, so it's whatever. Okay, cool. Well, on my um first playthrough of Code Vein, I... Uh, hey, wait, 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 people might not... <laughs> uh, you know... Hey, well, should we put spoiler tag here, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot. People sometimes don't play this game. <laughs> um, people sometimes don't play the game. Yeah, oops. Um, I mean, um... Uh, so, at this certain point of the game, there's this, uh, giant Hulk kind of thing that, or Hulk kind of, uh, uh, boss, and I kind of, um, and what, after I killed him, I didn't do this certain thing, so I, I let, so, um, because I didn't do this certain thing, or I kind of didn't know that I was, uh, that I could do this certain thing, I didn't get the true ending, um, so, um, that kind of, uh, so when I found out about that, that kind of sucked, um, the final boss was disturbing as fuck, uh, <laughs> like, okay um but the boss before the final boss or before the transformation uh that was pretty cool um dual wield great swords <laughs> oh. anime as fuck i mean that i mean you could do that in dark souls too can't you like, yeah just very difficult yeah oh wait actually that was one of my favorite um strength builds in dark souls 2 um dual wielding these uh uh, two, uh, winged great swords. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, they were, um, uh, the strongest kind of weapon for strength build because of the, um, because of scaling. Um, so it was very fun to, like, use them and, like, um, um, uh, play around with them. Um, and, yeah. Um, ooh, another fun thing about Dark Souls 2 was that you could burn um bonfire well, aesthetics I bonfire think. aesthetics <laughs> and that, that's the one that makes the game harder right? yeah it, get, it makes the the new game plus like it adds a new game plus thing yeah it adds a new game plus thing over um the area where the bonfire is connected to and all the enemies respawn but also like because it's new game plus dark phantoms also spawn as well mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's more challenge. And if you're farming souls, it's a very good um, good way to get souls, especially <laughs> in um, what's it called that one place where um, the old Iron King is. Um, the old uh, the, the Iron Keep. keep I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I always got nervous like trying out the bonfire instead. It's just because like you know, I just prefer to just farm the regular way. Right. But you know, it, when you add challenge, it's just like. I'm not that good of a Dark Souls player, and I get <laughs> nervous. So, yeah, I don't, I don't blame you. Uh, I don't blame you. A lot uh, of people would. <laughs> yeah, uh, when I play some Dark Souls kind of games, like at first I get very nervous, but after like I either die or um, play in the area for long enough, I get accustomed to it, and 
um, and I start to know what I'm actually doing. And um, if you're ever playing Dark Souls 2, Scholar the First Sin, um, or the updates before that, uh, use Bond. If you're trying to grind levels, go to the Iron Keep um, and use your Bonfire Aesthetics to respawn um, the Iron. The what did I just call him? Uh, old Iron King. He, he, yeah. Or I, I doubt that's what he's called, but um, I think that's what he's called. He shoots fire, and he has like yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, he like does big hold guy. smash. Yeah. Shoots fire and Hulk smash. Uh -huh. You know, let's call him Red Hulk. No, it's Demon Hulk. No, Demon there's Hulk. already one of those. We'll call him Iron Hulk. Iron Hulk. Yeah. yeah. It's like Iron Man by Iron Hulk, but melted. God, that would hurt. Um, <clears throat> but he, because he, um, man, I say um so much. Uh, everyone does. Don't worry about it. I'm probably going to do it even more often and stutter. Oh, man. Well, I'm sorry. Add that uh, one to the tally. Uh, and another thing is, you know, sorry for, but, uh, you know, we're, you're giving advice for a game that's, what, six, seven years old? Holy sh... Holy shit, it's that long already? Or it's been that long? <laughs> Time it's, flies, buddy. Oh, uh, man. That, it feels like it's only been out, like, three years ago. But that was yeah, Dark Souls 3. I agree 3. with you, but, yeah, that was Dark Souls 3, and that was three years ago. Oh, three, man. four years ago. I haven't played Sekiro yet, or Sekiro. I kind of want to. But I also really want to play um, Neo 2. Uh, yeah, I really want to play Neo 2. It's um, 2014 the... Dark Souls 2. Hey, six, six years. years ago. Wow, that's really old. It's like dog years for games. Yeah. It's a shame not a lot of people like uh, Dark Souls 3. Yeah, that's another thing. Or Dark Souls 2. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, Dark Souls is the least favorite of the Soul series. And yet, I, I honestly think it's... I wouldn't say it's better, but I really liked it. I I think it's the most fun of them. And, you know... Damn. That's another thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to run out of words to say. Ah, that's fine. <clears throat> March 2016 of Dark Souls 3. That's four years ago. Oh, wow. Where were we? Oh, yeah. You, another thing about Sekiro is, like, they came, came out with a manga that, uh... Wait, like, what? a side story. I, I have... What? I should have shown it. I meant to show it to you earlier. What? It's not here. It's in my car. What? <laughs> I'll let you borrow it if you want. Nah, it's fine, but... What? They have a little side story about... I'm pretty sure... Because I haven't played Sekiro either, but yeah, I'm way too scared to... It just looks way too hard for me. <laughs> but it... I think it's... You know the guy that gives you the um, upgrades for your for like your arm thing? Yeah, the uh, prosthetics. Yeah, uh, I think the... it's a side story about that guy's origin story or something. Oh, okay. But okay, cool. it's pretty it's pretty darn good. Really? I recommend it. Uh, uh, what's the guy's name? I'll I'll next podcast I'll tell you guys about it. Yay! Um, that's in my car. So have you been watching anything? Um, no, but I, um, I've been kind of getting into, um, JoJo. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Here it comes. Here um, comes those comments. Hey, let's become a JoJo channel. Woo! There's plenty of those already. I know, and we'll never fit in because <laughs> they will never accept us. <laughs> it's, not that matter, it's not a matter of accepting, it's just that in competition. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't want viewers stealing away viewers. Yeah. You don't want to be the guy in the Twitch chat going, "Hey guys, you want to come to my stream?" Yeah, we're we're, we're really a, yeah, because this guy sucks, so we sh you're better off with us. Yeah, we're so totally good with our stuttering and you know for not knowing what to say halfway through a sentence and it just kind of stops right there. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, I kind of got into JoJo mostly because of the music. And um, I'm kind of one of those people that kind of like skipped the parts. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> so um, I mean, I, I mean to be fair, a lot of people skip one in parts one and two and just go to three. No, what? I do have a few fr few people that like not friends, just you know, uh, 
What do you call them? I just seen like a bunch of people say, "No, start from the beginning, work your way through." Well, I can see like why people would recommend that because part one it sets up Dio, and um, I can I can understand how like um, the whole like importance of like needing to see like um, the part one and two and then finally get to three because like part one is essentially the origin story and um and that sets up like um like how these guys kind of got here and then part two is essentially like um the um origin story of how like of um of how like Dio became like um or how Dio or how Dio kind of got powers essentially and it kind of like made Dio um here I am talking out my ass um <laughs> uh it's essentially um how like part two is essentially like the origin story of the mask that Dio kind of got it's just it's kind of interesting how the mask never kind of got brought up ever again but um um yeah it's the origin story of like the mask and stuff um for Dio and um and then that kind of went crazy um what you looking up, man? Uh, don't don't mind me. Just continue. Oh, okay. Um, but anyways, back to like the whole like part skipping thing. So, um, how um, I kind of didn't really or couldn't really get into JoJo's um, at first because people kept on like recommending it to me, or my friends would kind of recommend it to me, and not really good when people like um, tell me to watch something when. And when I don't really stumble upon it on my own. How many are, uh, whatchamacallit, how many parts are there right now? There's, um... And it's still going, right? Yeah, it's still an ongoing thing. It's, uh, right now we're in part eight, Jojolian. Um, and part eight is almost finished. It'll just take, like, you know, another year. <laughs> um, because it's monthly, of course. It might take another year or two. Which, um, fun fact, um, Jojo... Um, there's as much chapters of JoJo as there is as One Piece, so just, just kind of wrap your mind around that. Like One Piece is almost at like like <laughs> one thousand, two thousand. I chapters. was about to say because I was thinking about picking up JoJo, but I'm thinking like I might as well pick up One Piece at that point. And someone told me it will take you if you never if you started One Piece and never stopped, like never went to the bathroom or never ate, it would still take you around like three months to get through the whole series, maybe even more. Well, um. When um, when I started watching One Piece, I didn't read the manga. I read the manga now, most because the um, I'm waiting for the anime to catch up. But um, but when I started watch, watching One Piece, it was mostly because my favorite or my favorite anime YouTuber at the time, uh, Tekken. Uh, Never heard of him. Sorry. No, uh, it's fine. Uh, and the, to be fair, I watched like ten different guys. Yeah. Um. Uh. He used to do Bleach a lot, and um. He was either going to do Naruto, which they're, who knew, they, um, the people, um, who do, like, Naruto, they're very, um, uh, copyright restrictive when it comes to that, so, like, mm. you get, like, an immediate, um, copyright stri strike, yeah, yeah, yeah it's copyright. like Nintendo sometimes when they just, you know, yeah, they're pretty strike much, the, like, ten seconds of a music thing. Yeah, they're pretty, like, if you even just mention Naruto, um... Are we going to get copy strike right here? I have no idea. We're just going to say Naruto. Um, and we're not going to say anything else. But anyways, um, he, uh, he, after Bleach ended, he um, then one, uh, started to do um, either um, Fairy Tail or One Piece. And then um, he thankfully kind of chose One Piece. I don't know. I'm not a very big Fairy Tail kind of dude. Neither um, am I. And, um, because he did that, I just kind of decided, you know, I'm just gonna go and, um, kind of try to catch up on this, because he's a really fun YouTuber. I really enjoy, like, what he does. So, um, I'll just kind of catch up and see, like, um, where we, where, what happens. And so, for, like, um, a month or so, I just kind of binge-watched, um, One Piece, like, every day. <sighs> Like, pretty much non-stop. I would go to work, come back from work, that's, start watching One Piece. That just sounds, in my opinion, horrible. Uh, it, it wasn't that bad. I got to, um, I mostly just skipped, um, the majority of the fillers. I did watch G8. That was a pretty fun one. But I did skip, um, uh, one canon thing, which was, uh, the Long Rain Longland thing, where, um, 
they were fighting Foxy. Um, uh-huh. I kind of skipped that, but I kind of understood the gist of it. Um, and uh, there's some theories going around, um, going around that thing to where um, what Foxy's um, like the whole reason or the whole point of that game is like or oh, what am I trying to say? Um, the whole thing of that is actually like a diet version of what this um, one other dude um, would like probably did. Um, his name was uh, Roxy Zebic. He um, there's a theory going around that like he kind of did like one of those kind of games, and that's how um, he got like Whitebeard on his crew, Big Mom, Kaido, uh, um, what was it, um, Wang G, and um, Golden Shiki, and then Silver Axe, um, and that's how he got all those like strong as fuck guys um, on his crew because of the whole. Um, uh, that one kind of game that um, Foxy kind of did, so that that's pretty interesting, and I want to see if that actually comes true later on. Also, man, can't wait to see Shiki come into the story, or Wang Ji, or um, I uh, just I get the feeling. First of all, this is going over my head because <laughs> I don't. I'm it's One Piece is way too daunting for me to watch, and I don't, and I'm not particularly too fond of the art style. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying not. I'm not a fan of it. I'm, it's okay. I can get through it. I mm-hmm. can watch it if I wanted to, but I don't want to. <laughs> uh, which art style? The uh, beginning or like the... I remember after- watching like a couple seasons as a kid, like when I was like 10. Uh-huh. It was on like, uh, what's it, Cartoon Network and they had like a... They had Naruto, One Piece and some other stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, the... Um- the art style has changed like a lot. I think I've seen clips of it of yeah. like changing and stuff. It does look slightly different. Yeah. So like um uh maybe kind of get give it like another watch or maybe kind of give it like another try. Like uh um, starting from where I would say. Um, I, I have seen like two seasons of it I think. Uh what were the seasons? Like the very first two. Oh, yeah. Then um so I would say start from um okay so where does things get really emotional okay so i would suggest- which i'm not a fan of because like, <laughs> i've had a few conversations with other guys like this like just we watch too much life slice of life stuff uh-huh. just because like we're afraid of conflict ah uh, okay it's not that we're afraid of it we can get through it it's just that you know we prefer lighthearted uh, stuff okay but you know if i have to sit through it i'll sit through it okay well um i would suggest um starting from um, the beginning of, um, what's that one? Um, um, I would suggest, um, okay, uh, I would suggest kind of, like, uh, seeing some clips of, starting from, like, the Alabasta arc, see some clips, like, maybe the beginning, some fights with Luffy and Crocodile, and then the end, and then kind of, like, um, and then move on to um, Skypea. Um, hey, what season are we talking here? Or is it just easier just to look those up? It'll look probably up just arc. be. It'll just probably be easier to, to look, look up, them up. Bl- look up blank arc and yeah. Which arc again? Um, Alabasta. Okay. Um, and then Skypea. Um, and then kind of feel free to skip Long Ring Longland, but like. Um, maybe like watch like an, a few episodes um maybe like the beginning to kind of like understand like what's happening or why they're doing this because it could play a major role later on um and then um and then um after that oh yeah and then after that um actually no pretty much just start uh, let me restart um <laughs> pretty much you start right after uh long rain long land arc because then you get to um um the actual good stuff to where they start uh, to where there's like now government sabotage <laughs> um trying them trying to save their friend again um but like it's so emotional and it's so it's so it's so good um how this um next upcoming arc goes and then it leads into um another arc and then they um, then comes a jailbreak kind of arc and then a huge ass war and then the two year skip and then uh, two year skip 
Yeah, there's a like a two year kind of training skit. Uh huh. Um, um, to where they all you know try to get stronger and stuff. Um, and um, like trying to get stronger is my trigger phase. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you just hear that so often in everything. So I was just like, <laughs> can we like, if, like if I was um anime producer, I would take. And every time someone says, I gotta get stronger or something like that, I would take that out. Just because everyone knows that already, just by the look. Yeah. Just. Uh, but, um, after the two-year time skip, um, it just, it gets pretty good. Um, and right now in the manga, um, we're finally going up against Kaido. Um, pretty much our second, uh, Yonko that we're going up against. And, um... Weird. What is this, a sports team? <laughs> hey, man. Team Luffy, or Team Straw Hats. Um, uh, they're number one. Hooray. <laughs> um, that was so cringy. I am so sorry. Um, but, yeah, right now in the manga, we're, um, going up against Kaido, and, um, we're, um, we're just pretty much... That's pretty much where we're at right now. We're go, uh, going. we we infiltrated Kaido's kind of uh, castle thing, and um, there's probably going to be like another big kind of war because Big Mom's also there. Her kids just kind of um, they're not there yet. Um, some other people might intervene, like the world government or Shanks, um, and yeah. Um, and as a clarification, we apologize for just having this go over people's heads if you're not a One Piece fan. That's fine. They can just, um, read the manga or watch the anime. Just, wa just watch season one and go from there. See how, see how long that takes you. <laughs> oh, God. Enjoy. You're welcome. Um, speaking about things that will go over people's heads, um... Jojo, sorry, bring it back to that. Go ahead, go ahead. We kind of went off course a little bit. There. Oh yeah, we did. We went on like a huge tangent of One Piece. Um, so um, yeah, I was I skipped some of the parts um, because like there were some things that I just kind of get couldn't get used to. Um, like part four, uh, it's primarily like a, that's Diamond is Unbreakable, right? Yeah, Diamond's everyone's right. telling me like the, the one reviewer I saw of this is like. They, they, he didn't like it just because, and everyone uh, agreed with him. Is it's basic that season is just basically a slice of life anime, just with superpowers every now and again. It's it's a fun kind of, or um, it's one of those things that kind of grows on you, um, and you can appreciate it more after you um, uh, like you can watch that and then watch the other ones and then kind of come back to it and then kind of learn to appreciate it more, because what I did with that was um. I on, pretty much only watched the Yoshikage Kira fight with Josuke, mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's pretty much what I watched with that. And then later on, or like a year or so later, I then kind of started watching some more of it, like where um, they introduced Okiyasu. Um, uh, I forgot what's the little kid's name. Um, Low kid with echoes. Um, la, 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 la. Uh, oh well, I forgot his name. I'm just calling him Echo Kid. Um, uh, he he kind of was interesting, um, and um, and then his whole thing with um, that one Yandere lady, Yandere girl, with like her sand being her hair. Um, uh, that was pretty interesting. Oh, fun fact. Um, I guess um, Araki kind of. Um, invented the whole yandere thing uh <laughs> because of that one hairy lady because like no one else was um doing that kind of thing like everyone else in like other mangas at the time like the girls would be like kind of very useless or just like um or just like um you know those very pretty like can never do anything wrong kind of girls but like um mary Araki, sue's yeah Ma mary sue's kind of things but like um what Rocky did was, like, he kind of, like, changed that and, like, gave this very beautiful lady, like, this kind of, like, crazy, obsessive kind of, like, attitude. And that was, that's pretty cool, like, seeing, like, that, like, now more people kind of, like, um, add that into their... Well, shit, that, I mean, models. Yandere is everywhere in these days. Yeah, and it's very Just much... like, yeah, I'm not gonna... I was gonna say, it transferred to another world thing. I'm not even gonna pronounce the word. Oh, um, I know Such with an I. 
Yes, isekai. There we go. Because <laughs> so many people have ruined the pronunciation for that because they pronounce it like ten different ways. Iseki, il, um, um, it's, I, I, I only know Isaki. Is, 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 I'm not even going to go into it because people get mad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, they're going to get mad about everything. It's 2020, man. <laughs> I, I still care. My, my name is Savior85 and I care what you think. Oh, okay. It's, you're so you're you're so kind. You're so nice. Where were we? Uh, oh right. Because uh, another thing is like uh, oh. it, Yandere is uh, been around and it's just growing, growing, growing like stock. Yeah. And it's like uh, like when did, you're saying he started it? Yeah. He uh, be, remember um, when did JoJo start in the first place? Well, um, it, it shows how ignorant I am. The whole like uh, for Americans like. We didn't really, like, know about that, um, or we kind of, like, got, like, the whole Yandere thing from, like, other things, or other, like, media things, but, like, keep in mind, Araki started, like, JoJo in, like, um, like, late 80s and 90s, and, like, we, um, and we were just now starting to get, like, actually good translations, (laughs) or for, like, the last, like, maybe 10 years, we've finally started getting, like, actual good translations, and, like... And that's when, another thing, is, like, the last 10 years, it's more like, you know, we switch from it, uh, the whole sub versus dub thing, you know, how, like, uh... Yeah. The whole... Give me a second. Like, you know, people prefer to watch it dubbed, or sometimes you can only get it dubbed. Yeah. And so, these days, everyone's fine with sub, like, it's just good translation, and you much prefer hearing... The Japanese voice actor over the American one, just because it sounds more natural or something like that. Yeah, like especially for like Dio, <laughs> like um, it, it, um, Dio sounds so good like dubbed and like he very emphasizes like um Dio the character in the um in sub, um in dub he um he kind of loses some of the emphasis of um like when he yells at his stand like the world mm-hmm. and um. In English, it's the world. <laughs> like, oh, okay, wow. Well, that, that's, like, from, like, um, from, like, a, from a nine of the world to, like, a five <laughs> of the world. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, but the voice actor for, um, Jotaro, um, was always pretty good, like, in dub and sub, like, in, um, in dub, like, they got it pretty, um, not, uh, spot on for what Araki kind of, like, based Jotaro off of, uh, which was, um, um, what's that one cowboy guy that's very popular, or that was super famous back in the day? Um, oh, shoot. Um. Hey, give me com- a little more. Uh, he, he, um, he was always in, like, the Americans, kind of, like, uh, Old West kind of films. I don't know, John Wayne or something? Uh, no, another one, um. He's uh, popular for talking to a chair. Or in like like ten years ago, he was he got popular for like talking to a chair on like this one um, uh, show. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, let me go look it up. Or maybe you can look it up. I can uh, look it up. Yeah, get, cool. Keep talking and I'll look it up. Sweet. Uh, um, so, anyways, um, they they really did a great service with like Jotaro's voice actor in both sub and dub. Um, but anyways, back to like the whole like Yandere thing. By the way, there's a Yandere Yandere simulator. Can I? Uh, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, Clint Eastwood. Wood. They Wood. Made, yeah. Yeah. No, Joe Toro was pretty much based off of Clint Eastwood, um, and like the uh, dub voice actor, like he really sounds pretty good. Um. um anyways, um. So yeah, in like nineteen like eighty or nineteen ninety something. Um. Uh, when part, oh yeah, 1998, 1999 was, was like when part four was thing, um, uh, was like a thing, and, um, so, um, that was like the whole story, like, the Yandere thing, and, um, and we in America and didn't really, America didn't really get that, um, until like other medias and like other, like more popular animes, um, uh, kind of, um, got like, an- um, uh, got like animes ad, 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 adapted to America or in America so we gotta see them uh, more from other animes but it originally started out from Jojo so that's pretty cool um uh blah, blah, blah. um sorry the way, for the creaking of the chair it's just this is an old chair hey um 
Hey, have you seen part seven or have you read part seven? No, of JoJo? no, very little of anything of JoJo. Oh, okay. but I've seen some things. Okay. Um. Well, part seven is like one of those is like one of the only parts that I've actually kind of um, read from like start to finish of like a JoJo thing. Um. I really, I really love what they did with like the characters, um, especially especially with like um, Gyro Zappelli. I love his design and like how. Um, shocking it is to like kind of like see his like teeth um for the first time or when he smiles for the first time because he has like um uh things etched into his like teeth like go go zeppeli and um that, it's pretty cool and he like uh uses like spinning balls to like as like an attack and like as um uh, mcguffins or not mcguffins but as like uh things that like can do almost anything kind of like hamon um hamon um, and then, um, I got, and, um, in part eight, there's kind of, like, a little reference to, um, uh, the ball spinning. Uh, by the way, part seven and eight are, like, a different universe from the original, uh, <laughs> I, part one through six. If you didn't know, I gave him, like, a little, little glance over, and my eyes rolled a little bit, and, like, different universe? Really? A different universe? Yeah, it was more or less kind of, like, a soft reboot. Um... <laughs> And, um, uh, pretty much part, uh, part seven and eight are, like, a combination of one, two, three, four, five, and six, or they have some characteristics of it. Um, more predominantly in, like, parts, um, no, wait, no, actually in both, like, because in part seven, in the beginning, you get introduced to a guy who looks like Avdol, his name is Avdol, and he dies, like, within, like, the first one or two chapters, and then, um... Then we also have um, a dude named Jonathan Joestar. Um, yeah, Jonathan Joestar and um, and his rival uh, Diego Brando or Dio, for short. Um, and um, yeah, it follows a lot of the story beats. Um, uh, the way they get the, their stance is pretty interesting. Also, um, um, the way. Uh, by the way, spoilers if you haven't read. Um, uh, the way... Plug your ears for, like, t- like, a couple seconds. Uh, the way, like, um... Or skip ahead, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that works, too. But, um, what I find interesting, is, or very interesting, is near the end of Part 7, to where, um, Valentine gets, um, a, another universe's Dio, um, to, uh, replace... Or, eh, where they get Dio from, like, an, where he gets another Dio to kind of, like, try to win this steel ball run... Um, and this Dio has the world instead of, uh, scary monsters to which he got, um, or which he got to keep because of the eyes, um, of Jesus. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, the way... People... Out of context, that sounds so weird. I know. Uh, so, um, let, let, let me give some context then. So, in this universe, um, in part seven, um... Jesus uh, exists, and he's a holy saint. Um, you would and, think people would get mad about that. Uh, yeah. The Christians would get mad about that. Uh, yeah, but uh, so he his body maybe it goes a little under the radar for them not to notice. <laughs> so um, pretty much, um, Jesus's corpse is like split up in like oh, different that body would parts. Definitely piss people off. <laughs> uh, so his corpse is like uh, broken off into like different parts of the world or different parts of America, and. Um, and so, um, um, it turns into, like, from, like, an original race of, like, um, John of our Jojo, um, pretty much trying to win the race, um, um, because he, he's crippled, and, but he just kind of, like, um, he loves horse riding, and he's a really good horse rider, despite being crippled. Um, he befriends Gyro, and, like, from, um, it turns into, from a thing of where, uh, Jonathan, um, is trying to, um, uh, learn the spin so that he can get feeling back in his legs to, um, him trying to get the corpse parts. So then, um, because, so then the president doesn't get the corpse parts. Uh, the president is, like, this one magician kind of guy, um, whose stand is D4C, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, or, um, uh, Dirty Deeds Done at a Reasonable Price, (laughs) um, or something like that. Um, and, um, he, his, uh, ability is, um, he can slip through objects into, and he can go to, like, a different universe, 
and his stand can do the same thing but um what makes it very interesting is like if he's dying he can slip through um like uh, he can kind of go through like um like i guess underneath a door and it can slip him through or his dying corpse into like this other universe and because um let me get some more context. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, I know. It's, I know. He's... It's pretty complicated or pretty bizarre. Um, uh, but pretty much uh, what his stand is, um, is it's like a linchpin stand. Like, he's the only um, um, funny Valentine out of, like, many multi, uh, of many multi multiverses that has um, D4C. He's, like, the main linchpin of, like, our, of the universe. And, um... If he dies, he can slip through, like, another, um, slip through, like, a crack or something, and, like, uh, his corpse will go into, like, another multiverse, and then, like, um, his D, his stand, D4C, will go to that universe's, uh, funny Valentine, and then that Valentine will immediately become, like, the main multiverse, and then kind of get the memories of the previous funny Valentines, and, uh, uh, the universe where that Valentine, um, comes from is not the main multiverse but um the main multiverse where our main funny valentine comes from uh is still like the main multi is still the main universe and so um it gets kind of confusing kind of near the end because um somehow um as funny valentines is uh actually finally dying because of uh john johnny's uh oh that's his name not jonathan uh, Johnny's, um, Stan Tusk, Act 4, um, he, um, as he's finally dying, he, uh, brings back, um, uh, Dio, and this Dio, instead of having his stand in, like, the main universe, um, this Dio has the world, and, um, I hear sometimes on YouTube that, like, some people say, oh, hey, maybe it's, like, the, the corpse parts, um, gave this deal like the world which is kind of impossible because literally in the story it's um they say that uh um uh, the corpse is only unique to this one universe so um that deal probably just kind of like awakened it some other way or maybe in that universe there was like a stand or, or like the stand arrow or maybe something else that kind of like gave that deal the world um and so that was that was pretty interesting and then like the final battle uh with uh dio and john and johnny uh you'd think johnny would win but no he, <laughs> he, he gets destroyed by dio because dio is pretty smart and um the world's stopping power is pretty um pretty strong against um tusk so um he wins so he pretty much defeats jonathan johnny um only survives because of uh because he was able to save this one other dude like a little bit prior or a little bit before so he comes and rescues him and then um the way dio dies yes dio finally dies um in this part um which i i don't even remember what part we're on we're still on number seven okay. um i know so much i'm so sorry for taking up so much time for just talking about this one part i it, clearly i i really like this part um but um basically one girl um or one young lady uh has the separated head of the main universe dio and um pretty much what happens is um because um if two uh different universe beings kind of uh get close to each other's thanks to d4c they automatically kind of get magnetized to each other's and then explode and so that's how dio dies by uh the head this one little girl has kind of magnetizes to um dio's head and then he dies because his head explodes um and that was essentially part seven and then part eight is like a murder mystery like part four but it's it's like more interesting i guess um because it's like a more kind of recent thing it takes place in 2011 and i guess that's when it started as well 2011 and it's been ongoing for like 10 years now um so yeah uh it's a I, I questioned like uh you said it was like a soft reboot for part eight right uh would you well no uh part seven and eight is like a uh pretty much a reboot or soft reboot of like part one two three four five and six would you recommend like just watching part eight just a just as a standalone or not a standalone but like 
if I just wanted some, if I just, is it like a recap thing? On, uh, um, I think I understand what you're asking. Uh, I would recommend watching like seven and eight, um, seven then eight, because. Um, but what I get confused watching seven. Uh, no, by because itself. no, because it's its own kind of story, and then part eight takes place after part seven. Um, so like, um, you would, you'll pretty much only be confused if you watch the original like one through part one through six, but um, part seven and eight is like um, Iraqi's like. Um, more refined kind of like um, storytelling and it's a pretty good read both of them <laughs> Shoot, uh, sorry I was <laughs> oh that's all you got yeah pretty much that's kind of all I got okay that I mean all you got that's still pretty low. That, that took up a lot of her time I know I'm so sorry no no it's fine it's fine but uh what? What, I, what I was researching a little bit off to the side here. I was listening to him. Don't worry, I'm not that kind of dick. But what uh, I did wanted to do a podcast dedicated to since we're both anime fans here, and I hope you guys out there are too. Obviously, you are if you're kind of uh, still <laughs> tuning in and hearing us or listening to us <laughs> and my long ass rambling. I. Inspired by a certain fellow streamer, f- certain streamer, I shouldn't say fellow, I'm not that big of a streamer, uh, who did a list of like top 100 pseudo, a pseudo top 100 best video games of the year. Oh, yeah. I would like to do, to do something similar, but with anime. Just a pseudo top 100 anime of, not, not the year, the decade, the decade, sorry. The decade from 2010 to 2019. And uh, I was just doing a little research on like what came out in 2010 and a little bit here. And uh, uh, for what the what what the streamer did was like uh, just take a Google, what is it, Google Sheets. The, uh, what's, it, what's that thing called? Uh, Google Documents. Yeah, Documents. documents. But it's the graph thing. He just took like, you know... A generalization of stuff we can agree on that would fit the top 100 of the decade bill. Mm. Like, you know, there's a top 5, there's a top 10, and, you know, the least amount of arguing I would like. <laughs> no, it, it would be like having a list of the top 100, having sections of it, and, you know, I would like to do two lists actually for two podcasts. Right. That was like uh, one that we agree on, just our personal take. And another one that's uh, pretty much everyone can agree on for the most part that you know, would have the least amount of arguing. <laughs> right. So, like, kind of like a them kind of voting thing or, like, them kind of, like, or, like... A general consensus. Yeah, like a community consensus. But I was just... I... I the only... I mean, I've watched anime for the most part all of my life, but I only... Really got into it like in the past like five years or so. Oh, okay. Just you know, like really delve into what it is and what it's, what it's. Sure. Forgive me, I'm stuttering a bit again. Yeah, no, I understand. Like, um, same. Like, I've um just kind of recently in like the last three four years kind of got into like um the wider kind of scope of anime the wider scope yeah that's yeah true. and um but for the most parts when i was young i kind of only watched like maybe one maybe like three animes naruto bleach and like um shoot i forgot the other one um but naruto and bleach primarily um i would watch maybe some other kind of animes in between like Tokyo the gate rate drugs <laughs> <laughs> yeah get like i pretty much just um, well, that's what some people call them entry level shit yeah, I pretty much only watched the gateway drug um, equivalent of anime. Um, so those ones. I mean, these days I've only been watching, you know, the either the newest stuff or like stuff that only got one season, but it's still relatively popular. Either has the, like a cult following, or just, just had had some kick to it. Yeah. But uh, uh continue. Uh, uh just, la, 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 la. Hey, so I see there's Lupin on that. Um, Where is it? Uh, it's on under L. Um, Lupin. Oh, that's. Oh no, that's, that's not. Th- it. That's a different thing. Whoops. Whoops. Um. So I, I'm just looking up. Uh, where I was doing general research, just you know, 
Just, this is the, what we're looking at is a. We'll show you. God damn. <laughs> but uh, like when we actually do the podcast, we'll probably bring up a bigger list. Not not a bit, actually bring up like more visuals. Like we'll show you the list. We'll show you what we're researching. Similar to what the other guy did. <laughs> I'm not about to name names. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should or not. Eh, probably not. Uh, I when I'm looking at that, I I own pretty much everything. I don't know what they are except for like Black Butler and like. Um, top 100 should go on the list. <laughs> should it go on the list uh, on the top 100? Probably. No. You know, the other day I saw at the Barnes and Noble they were giving out like the entire series for like ten bucks. Huh. Okay. Like a manga. Okay. It was like ten do- like five bucks a copy. Oh damn. <laughs> they must have over <laughs> maybe people don't, don't like it that much. No. Uh, uh well now where was I don't care now, much. Keep about- in mind about like this. This is like twenty ten. There's only out of eighty nine total. Well, that's what I do with twenty fifteen. One fifty seven. What oh, a twenty sixteen. Wow. One seventy seven. Twenty seventeen. Around the same thing, 164. Oh, man, imagine if we had to watch all of those. <laughs> it would take, like, years. <laughs> to be... F- I mean, I could, you could at least watch one episode of... Or, like, uh, do what some anime uh, reviewers do. and Just, like, watch the first, like, three episodes. And if it's not good, then just kind of, like, move on. I mean, they kind of need it for their job, so they kind of, yeah. Yeah. And then if it, like, actually gets, like, really popular, then they'll, like, review the, like, all the other, like, episodes or things. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, man. I, I lost my train of thought for a minute. No, uh, don't worry about it. Quick, distract them. Uh, what do you, you see anything on the 2011? Um, uh, um, uh, I don't like you at all, big brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. You I mean, know, but I just... It, it was a pretty... Um, int- it's a uh, unique title that, I've, that I don't really see often. And that's... Okay, that's an interesting uh, anime. Um, hey, cool Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal. Hey. Zexal. Yeah. Z- the one with, like, with that little kid and like the cyberspace thing, right? Yeah, I've heard weird things about that. Yeah. Now, what the... Uh, uh, I need to get back on my train of thought here. You got this. Only you can prevent wildfires. Wrong quotes. Wrong quotes. I'm sorry. <laughs> bad, bad habits. <clears throat> um. Well, what would you put on your personal list of top 100? Ah, uh, boy. Um. Did Bleach come out 2010? Because it says it did, and it's like, I'm pretty sure that came out sooner because I watched it as a kid. Uh, yeah, no, it definitely came out sooner. It's just, like, it's probably, like, another season. Pro- yeah, probably, like, a movie or something. Because it's showing movies, too. Oh, yeah, then it's probably, like, um... What was it? Um, probably, um, Bleach Helvers or, um, Bleach, um, something else. Um, can you scroll up? Where is it? I mean, it's not here. It's in the... Where was it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang uh, on. Fill up the dead air. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is helpful. Hey, cool. Hey, first try. Um, <laughs> yeah, Bleach came out in around, like, 2007? Like, yeah, around, like, 2007, 2006. Um, God, I love that show. Um, <laughs> I can I, tell from our previous conversations. <laughs> um, and, boy, uh... 20 or 2021 maybe bleach anime but later in probably 2020 we're either going to get like a OVA of burn the witch or there or a um, actual manga of burn the witch um, which is a uh, pretty hype um, yeah and another thing is um, is this really in tw- yeah it's 2010 now, we exclude the whole manga thing that not like exclude exclude but you know, like when the series, not, 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 when the TV series came out, not when the manga came out, but one thing is like, um, you have to realize that when we do the general consensus, like the general, like, popularity of the 100, just the 100 that says for everybody, we're going to put on some stuff there that probably we don't like. Kaon, I really don't like. I think Kaon is 
Never heard of it. I, I think it's a what is it? Slice of life about a, about four girls who start a band. I think that's the most boring shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and <laughs> hate comments. Yeah, hate comments. Bring them on. I've I've already dealt with a couple guys. Oh damn, he dealt with them. Better watch your better watch out, guys. <laughs> He's going to deal with you in the comment section. Oh. Uh, no, people, like, I, I legit think Keon is not that good at all. And it's super, super mind-numbingly boring, and people have come after me for that one. Oh, wow. Pistols well, at dawn and all that. Huh. Um, anyways, you were asking me about, like, um, my top 100. Uh-huh. I, um, I'm pretty sure I have, like, a list of, like, 100, but, like, I just don't remember, but I do remember, like, the thing that did kind of get me into anime, which is probably going to be around, like, um, my top, like, 80, maybe 90, um, or going to be in, like, around 80 or 90, and that was, um, uh, what was it, like, um, the main character was Karen, Karen Maka, um, it was, like, a little vampire kind of slice of life thing, but, um, that thing kind of introduced me into, like, anime back in, like, 2004, 2005. Um, it was a pretty interesting. Um, well, that's not of the decade, though. I know. Uh, but, 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 you know oh yeah. Uh, oh, so but, but but you can continue, continue. Uh, okay. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It was supposed to be in like 2010. Um. 2010 to 2019. Right. Gotcha. But, but but if but you know this is a test podcast, you can talk about whatever you want. Honorable mention. That uh-huh. came out in like 2004, 2005-ish. Voice crack. <clears throat> um, hmm. Hmm. What other anime have I watched? I watched Tokyo Raven, Tokyo Ghoul. Um. I'm probably gonna list a bunch of stuff that you probably never heard of too. Yeah, probably. Just, just cause like I've seen. Well, the majority of my the stuff I've watched is like one season long. Ah, uh, okay, makes sense. But still has like very potent popularity. Uh, understandable. Maybe we should t- take this from the. Uh, what the heck is that one? No, I know what that one is. Uh, so, so, do you, can you name any others? Not not here, but like. Uh, oh yeah, the Fate series, Fate Stay Night, Fate Stay <sighs> Unlimited Blade Works. It was pretty good. Um. I love Baber. I mean, Saber. Um, <laughs> um, and there's, like, the new movie or animated movies kind of coming out as well for, like, Fate Stay um, Unlimited Blade Works. Like, um, it's where it focuses on um, Sakura and, I guess, her transformation to becoming, like, BB or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, it's... I Honestly, I kind of really like that, that they're finally focusing on Sakura, because in Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, um, like, she was just kind of, like, she was there, or she, it felt like she was going to be a big part in, like, the beginning, but, like, then she just kind of fit in, like, the backgrounds, and it's kind of straight up disappeared. <laughs> um, but in, like, um, these movies, it's, like, actually, it's, like, censoring around her, and, like, um, continuing off about, like, these, um, like, what, like, her family did to her, and all the messed up things that they've done, like, they did, like, like, they, like, took advantage, or, like, the one, like, creepy, rapey guy kind of took <laughs> advantage of her, or her brother kind of took advantage of her, um, like, we're stepping cr- into dangerous territory right now. Right? Um, uh, they just kind of, like, they did so much horrible things to her, and, like, it, it makes you feel so bad, and, like, it also sucks that, like, in a way, like, she can't ever, like, be happy. Uh, but I kind of hope that, like... To be fair, like, five... I've seen, like, five to ten anime that do even... From what you're mentioning, they do, like, just as bad shit, if not worse. Uh, the yeah. main character. Aww. I've seen a ton... Magic Girl Sight is one of them, and I... Magic Girl what? Sight. Sight? Oh, man. It's pretty bleak. Ooh. But, and, you know, people... That's another thing, is, like... For me, personally, I would put that in, like, very high, like, 25 or so. Oh, wow. A lot of people very disliked it. Like, it got mixed reviews. Like, mixed reviews on... uh, Like, if it was on Steam, it would get, like, a mixed rating. Not, like, a very positive, not a mostly (laughs) positive. 
Just mixed. like a mixed. Okay. And you know what people do with mixed, they probably skip over it. Yeah. But surely you I I'm, I'm I'm just going to I'm going to look at like some of the big ones. Have you seen any sort out online? Um I started watching at like one of uh, my coworkers' houses. Yeah. Um I've like watched like maybe like the first two or three episodes and I kind of liked it, but I just kind of never got around to like um uh watching it all the way through. It, I, I don't know. I guess but by now, it's like so many different versions of it. Yeah. I like Sword Out Online and then Sword Out Online, blah, blah, blah. With Sword guns Online. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like the main character is a female. So, yeah, it's going to take her a while to get through all that. It seems like one of those animes I would kind of watch with, like, someone else. Like, watch, like, at, like, with a party or something. Yeah. And there's, like, some stuff that's, you know, they say they're going to get, I mean, oh, wait. 2012? Yeah, uh, that's uh, part one. Part one is, okay, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure part one is 2012, so we're probably going to put that in, like, top five or so. Nah, that's probably going to be in, like, the very bottom, because um, the pace, well, um, um... But the memes, Jack. I know, but, like... The popularity. The, but it's not as popular as, like, the other ones, like, take part five, and, like, part three. Well... I was thinking like and then, then like, the whole like the like whole you, TV series as a whole oh, being put in together. Okay, okay. We're not gonna do like part one is over here and part two is over there. Okay, the whole thing is a whole t- thing. Okay, so like, um, so as like the whole like branding of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is like, like one continuous thing, and um, the parts are just like seasons. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Instead of like each season being considered its own like anime thing. Yeah, I, I I would prefer it that way, but you know. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes it actually so much easier. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just sorting through like the popular stuff that you probably have heard of, because mm-hmm. I'm guessing you haven't heard too much. Uh, not nah, I'm not I'm not dissing you or anything, but uh. Oh, you're dissing me, you jerk! <laughs> huh, kick the table, throw the table, throw something out the window. By the way, I love this AC. It's so nice. Yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> Have you heard of our Goblin Slayer? Yes. Have you watched, watched any of it? Well, mm. look, heard, watched, watched fully, I seen bits and clips. I haven't seen all of it. I've just seen some clips of it. Um, like, obviously, the beginning, because, you know, <laughs> who hasn't seen the beginning? Um, you know, uh, it's and, kind of like ease away from that. Okay, and I've seen, like, some um, later parts where... Um, or some more lighthearted parts where the gob- goblin sa- slayer um, like takes off like his helmet, and I guess he's very handsome or very pretty. Um, so that that's pretty much about all I've seen. Um, and uh, yeah, voice crack. Hmm. Uh. Oh hey, speak about like anime and stuff. Um, what are your thoughts on like Jump Force, like the like anime kind of the uh, fighting game? Yeah, the fighting game. Jump, uh, I'm Jump not Force. that big of a fighting game guy, but I do like um, watching some of the videos of it. Oh, okay. uh, I've only seen a couple videos on ah. it, but you know, it, it, I'm not a fighting game guy, so it, that's up to them, really. Right. Um. I, I played, or I had the game, or I have the game. I played it a bit. I played the story mode. The story mode was a bit lackluster. And, like, the fighting kind of felt... Or it kind of got boring very fast. Um, the music um, was pretty bland as well. It, it's like, um, you know, doing repetitive, soft-sounding music over, like, some action-packed, like, fighting stuff. Oh, um, I love the characters, but, like, uh, some problem that... See, look, I'm looking at the Steam... Did you get the Steam version, or...? Yeah, I got the Steam version, See, because... look at this. All reviews are mixed. Yeah, that's not and a surprise. And the reason reviews are mostly positive. That's yeah, weird. Yeah, uh, because yeah, they, but, but look at this. They have character packs, and that's, like, paid DLC stuff. That's yeah. That's uh, weird. Yeah, um... I, I, I believe the uh, more popular character packs are... Is from Bleach, or the Bleach character packs, like, uh, Grimjow, Toshiro... Um, uh, Rukia. No, I know Rukia was already in there. Sorry, <clears throat> but like Grimjo and like Toshiro, they're from like the Thousand Year Blood War. Well, except for Grimjo, but uh, Toshiro is pretty cool. And um, then we also have um, Seto Kaiba. Hooray! Right, <laughs> a guy who battles with cards. Um, 
and I hear that there's that they're going to add some more DLC as well. Uh, so that's pretty interesting as well. Um, or that's pretty interesting. Um, uh, they might add some more Bleach characters. <laughs> Sorry, I, I really love the game mostly because it has like, um, like majority of all my favorite like anime characters. Um, and it also kind of introduced me to like some like newer kind of things like um, uh, Saint Seiya kind of characters and um, uh, Dra or uh, Monster Hunter, I believe it was. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, the main thing here is like, uh, whatchamacallit, the My Hero Academia thing. Yeah. You guys, so, have you seen any of that? Or? Yeah, I've, I've watched um, all the seasons. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm caught up in the manga, and damn, damn, the main villain uh, is scary. <laughs> <laughs> or he, or he uh, his most recent power-up is pretty interesting and uh, pretty terrifying that he can now um, pretty much track uh, our main uh, character. Because of um, because one of the abilities that he now has, and that's I guess that's as far as I'm gonna go with spoilers. Um, <laughs> oh hey, um, speak about anime. Um, so, uh, you know the thing that we've been talking about the, like half the podcast. Yeah, you know that thing that we've been talking about for like. Don't worry, we we won't be one hundred percent on anime. We'll like, try to diversify a little bit. Yeah, we're just diversity is in this year. Yeah, we've only been talking about anime for like you know two minutes. It's fine, but. Uh, uh, back on to the anime. Um, so what? Um, what are your thoughts on like Seven Deadly Sins? Like, I, from what I remember from the manga and like the beginning parts of the anime, it was pr it was really good. But like, uh, um, after like the more recent seasons, it just kind of dropped. Like, drop how? Like, I okay. have I've seen bits and pieces. I think bits and pieces mainly of the later half. Yeah. Um, like in the um like it didn't translate to anime very well in like kind of the later parts like let's say the final battle of Escanor versus um uh the uh, the main their captain um uh like in the in the manga like it it was like a, such an epic fight and it was so cool but in like the anime it went by so fast the pacing sucked and like the voice actors kind of like. Uh, I'm not trying to diss them, but, like, I'm sure they did a great job, but, like... Subbed or dub. But, like, they kind of... Um, uh, sub. Uh, but it kind of, like, kind of came out flat, and and pretty much the pacing overall sucked um, in the later seasons. And it kind of sucks. I hope they really, like, step up the production. If, I, I'm, if I'm thinking of the same series, because I was, like, I've gotten confused Seven Deadly Sins with other series, it, did it get fan service-y after a while? Um... I don't think so. Okay, um, I maybe think of different series. Yeah, probably. Um, and but, that's another thing. How, what do you think? It's not like, you know, the whole fan service you think, because everybody and their mother I've talked to about this is just like, I hate it. And if I see one panty shot, I'm that's a dislike for me. That's a one out of five for me. So I used to be like that. Um, like, for me, my whole life has been like, I, I, not to sound like a pervert, but, <laughs> but you know, I, it just... <laughs> It didn't bother me ever. Hey man, sex sells, and that's what people hate about it. <laughs> um, but like, um, I I can understand like why people don't like it. Like it's sometimes unnecessary, or it's just kind of shoved in there for like. Um, or if the whole show, the whole premise of the show was that. Yeah, like you know, big jiggly boobies, um, or like panty shots, or like just kind of like the way like the girl dresses and stuff. Sex jokes and all that. Yep. Um, but like lately, like. I don't really watch those, so... Um, I watch plenty of those, not because it interests me in that sense, but just because, like... So the Research! Yeah, sure. No, 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 I'm not going with that. <laughs> Research! But you ever hear about that story about, like, guys who watch porn for the story? And yes. not for the actual sex? Yes. That, like, as soon as the sex comes on, they cut it off? <laughs> and see, like, see, do they have actual acting ability? Do they actually have a good story? Do they have good writing? Sometimes it's, it's kind of like that for me. It's very rare. <laughs> it's pretty rare for them to have uh, any good storylines in uh, in porn. Porn, yeah. Um, I would understand that, but you know, at the same time, you find diamonds in the rough. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. I don't know how to transition from here. Hey, look, a distraction. <laughs> That's his catchphrase, by the way. 
I kept saying he, he used that a lot when we were working together. <laughs> but no, uh, so uh, you were going on on the fan service thing, like you know, you don't mind. I mean, you used to be like the guy who's like instantly one. Since they can they have more than a D cup of breast, the, that's an instant one out of five. <laughs> I've I've talked to people like that, and I'm just like, it's not that bad. Come on now. Yeah, it's I not- understand if it's like, you know, the whole thing. And you know you're not into that, and you just walk away. Yeah. Like, to like that's the whole one out of five thing, just because it's a panty shot. That's just whole. That's prejudice personified. <laughs> oh my god. Um. But uh, yeah, I used to kind of be like that, but like lately, after like watching more anime and kind of like, I guess, opening my mind up to it a little bit more. Um. It just it doesn't really matter, or I I actually I hardly even notice it. Like, in, like, early Bleach, like, um, and, like, sorry, I'm going back to Bleach. <laughs> it's my favorite anime. It's chillax. Um, I, um, in, like, early Bleach, like, we had, like, some, um, penny shots of, like, um, the main heroine, or main character's, um, chick. Um, and then, like, we would also get, like, a scene of, like, um, uh, his, one of his tutors, um, tutor ladies kind of being naked, kind of being in the hot tub with him, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and, I remember that part. And that, and that, like, um, uh, because it's just, like, it doesn't really matter, it just kind of goes over your head, and you're, like, more focused on, like, the epic things of, like, oh my god, Ichigo got Bankai, or, like, oh my god, Ichigo just straight up, uh, destroyed Aizen, um, or, like, these, ant- or these, um, Arankars, or Espadas, or, like, they have such cool powers, but, oh, man, they got destroyed by these, like, captain guys. And, like, um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's just, um, the whole, like, fan service thing just kind of goes over my head sometimes. I mean, sometimes the interaction in fan service scenes is kind of fun, at least, too. Yeah. They, you know, it's part of the joke, because, you know, a lot of anime has that, you know, sexual humor aspect to it. Sometimes the whole show is based around, you know, sex jokes. So, you know, you know, if it's there, enjoy it, you know. It's like, you know, going to a comedy club expecting, you know... Expecting, like, high-class, top, uh, top adult, or, like, high-class, like, um, um, high-class, like, humor about, like... Politics and stuff like that. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to go to the other guy who's, like, talking dick jokes. Dick jokes, butt jokes, fart jokes, poop jokes... Those uh, are still funny when done right. Yeah. It just has to be done right. Yeah. Um, I believe we're at the end of our hour here. Holy so, uh, minute 22. I mean, hour 22. Minute 22. Nice. But, uh, for, um, yeah, so, we're, we want to agree on the whole, uh, what was the name again? Uh, Constant Apologies Podcast? Yes, Constant Apologies Podcast. That's a mouthful, and I'm sorry. I like it. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, we'll try to be doing this, like, regularly every now and again. We'll work out a schedule, and, you know. Which and, is going to be very hard, because I usually work, um, start work at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. When do you get home? I get home at around, like, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> and I go to sleep at around, like, 6 o'clock. You didn't do that today, did you? What? Uh, the, 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 I don't want to discuss your whole work schedule. No, like, um, that might be de- de- dedoshing you. No, today, because I had off today, um, uh, I got to sleep in um, extra yesterday mm-hmm. after I did like what I was trying to do. Mm-hmm. By the way, um, what I did yesterday was um, um, I promised all my coworkers that I would make them milkshakes. Um um, one of my neighbors, which is also one of my coworkers, um, he uh, likes mint milkshakes. So I got one of our ice cream things of like mint chocolate chip. Took out all the chocolate chips. What a genius or what a boss! Um, and then um, at, made a milkshake out of that. Made a um, strawberry cupcake or strawberry cheesecake um, milkshake that was completely lactose free from one of my other coworkers. A vanilla. Basic bitch uh, milkshake for another Basic one, bitch. Um, and uh, fight me, my <laughs> fellow is, No, 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 no. <laughs> vanilla is very good. I love, yeah. I, I love uh, some vanilla. And uh, and then the final one was supposed to be like um, a makeshift um, or like not Oreos, but like s'mores kind of thing. So I mm. added like um, 
marshmallow fluff, uh, some uh, chocolate syrup, and like uh, chocolate graham, graham crackers, and then uh, this monster cookie ice cream as like a base, and kind of like mix it all together, um, and uh, try to make it like an Oreo thing. Oh man, dust. Uh, oh yeah, the, this room is very dusty. I try my best to clean it around here, but it, there's it's everywhere. We don't have very good installation in here. Ah, I see. It's okay. Um, you think I would get used to it because, like, when um, at my job, um, uh, like sometimes, like the sometimes, like w when I work, like the thingy is like always very like dusty and stuff. Um, so in a, in trying to in a store, like you know, they this not, not not in the store, but like um in the like, in the truck, I oh. guess. It, it, like um the boxes are so dusty, and then when you kind of like throw them onto a line, like. All the dust flies out, and then you have a fan that's kind of blowing, um, that's blowing inside the truck, so it all kind of sometimes gets to your face, mm -hmm. and so then you're sometimes sneezing. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, once again, we're at the end of our hour again. Oh, yeah. We just we went on a little tangent there, but, you know, at least it was an anime tangent. But, uh, you know, we'll try to make this a regular thing, and uh, we'll see where this goes from here. And we will be doing our special 100 Anime of the Decade thing. <clears throat> and uh, we'll... Damn, the, the outros are so hard. Yeah, intro, outros suck. Just like saying goodbye to someone. They suck. Mm -hmm. You know, it's goodbye. So long. Exit out of here. Come on, man. Now it's your cue. Exit out. Come shit, on. Shit, exit. shit, shit, shit. Go, go, go.